Michael, fantastic to meet you. Thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us. No problem. So for people who don't know anything about The Little Drummer Girl, how do you summarize this story and your character's role within it? Well, this is a story of uh, the relations between Israel and Palestine. Uh, it takes place in the uh, late 70s. And um, I play an agent from Assad named Kurtz who is trying to infiltrate a Palestinian terror cell. And he uses a young British actress uh, to do this uh, by training her and grooming her to go undercover and actually become uh, one of these uh, Palestinian terrorists. And so she she goes under, yeah. And John and Carrie's writing's been adapted for screen so successfully, not least with BBC's The Night Manager. What do you think it is about his writing that makes it so good for, for these sorts of adaptations? Well, it's, uh, it's extraordinarily rich writing. It has a lot of detail in it, and it's exciting to read. Um, and it fits into this format because uh, there's the, the, the time that you need to tell the story. If, uh, if you're making a film out of it, you have to uh, trim so many details out. And uh, I think with the, 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 the six-part series, uh, you can leave a lot more of it uh, in. What really strikes me is that it seems to balance style and substance really well. Like the, the aesthetics it is yeah. flawless. What was your experience of, of making the series, and how do you prepare for your character? Well, uh, I I tried to construct Kurtz's history. You know, I went back and and read about a lot of the things that I believed he would have experienced, and a lot of the conflicts that I believe he would have been involved in, and then. Uh, and then Director Park and his extraordinary team of designers uh, uh, bring so much to the table uh, for us to work with, and uh, yeah, and uh, it was a it was a great cast to work with as well, and uh, with Alex and and Florence and my, uh, my partner Michael who plays Litvak. Um, yeah, we just struck up a real easy uh, rapport with one another. Yeah. I think Florence in particular seems to just really live and breathe this role. It yeah. just seems like such a real real character. Yeah, that's yeah. so witty and so interesting as well. So was she in particular great to work with? Yeah, she brings a lot of, of energy and personality to the set, you know, on and off camera. She's, uh, she keeps everybody's uh, spirits up. She's, uh, she's very smart and she's very extremely charming, yeah. And you sort of managed to go to some pretty exotic locations. Was there a particular highlight for you in, in, in making the series or, or a particular challenge? Well, I love going to uh, Greece and uh, shooting uh, in the villa that, that uh, you see in, I believe it's, yeah, episode two. Um, that was an extraordinary sequence to shoot in that house. and. Um, yeah, just being by the uh, Temple of Poseidon. It was a beautiful, beautiful week, yeah. And it's perhaps got a slightly different pace to some of the other series we've seen recently, but perhaps that's kind of one of the things that really draws you in. Do you think that was something that was quite uh, particular to the way Park wanted to, to space it? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's hard to say exactly. Uh, I know that Director Park... Uh, is also putting together um, a director's cut that may be a little bit, not much, but a little bit more uh, stretched out. But um, yeah, I think that's part of the, the genre, you know, is that uh, it keeps you on your toes, you know. It keeps you, uh, you have to pay attention or else you're gonna fall behind, yeah. And the Israeli-Palestinian conflict is notoriously controversial. Do you think there is going to be any controversy off the back of this series? I would hope not. I mean, I think uh, the extraordinary thing about a lot of these characters is they seem to understand uh, both sides of the issue uh, very well. And um, even though they're opposing one another, they seem to have uh, some empathy for one another. Um, but I'm curious to see what the reaction is, mm -hmm. definitely. And all of the characters seem so well drawn, but you know, so nuanced. There's yeah. you know, not necessarily always clear whose side we're supposed to be on. What yeah. do you think people are going to take away from it? Uh, it's hard to say. I mean, 
you know, this conflict's been going on a long time, and it's not any closer to being resolved than it was back when Lucari wrote the novel. So I, I don't know. I hope, if anything, uh, people are able to take some, some solace out of seeing these characters trying to understand one another in, in some way. Can you very quickly tell us about any of your upcoming projects? Look forward to. Oh boy. Um, well, I'm uh, about to start shooting a movie called Knives Out with uh, the writer director Ryan Johnson. Um, that we're going to be shooting in uh, Boston in November. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Yeah. I can't wait to see that. Well, Thank thanks you. so much for your time. Lovely no to meet problem. you. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Thanks.